anchor down your attention into your feet. Engage your legs. Roll the lower back down, strong in your belly. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Bring both of your hands next to your feet. Inhale, look forward, open up your chest. Exhale, take your feet back and slowly lower down. Inhale, come to your upwards facing. And exhale to your downwards facing dog. Five big breaths. Come to the front, inhale, look forward, open chest. Exhale, take your body back over your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Two more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lower down. Engage your feet, engage your legs. Use your belly. Place your hands on the floor. Inhale, look forward, open up your chest. Exhale, take your feet back and slowly lower down. Inhale, come to your upwards facing and exhale, downwards facing dog. Five big breaths. So there's nothing to go to, nothing you should. The only thing you should <coughs> is listen to your breath, be with your breath. And then as you are with your breath, be with your body and the physical sensations. Maybe you want to put one knee to the front, the other knee to the back, one by one. Maybe you simply want to push the heels a little down, but absolutely bend the knees. Push the hands forward without moving them so your chest lowers and you feel the opening. And then we're gonna walk again to the front of the mat. Inhale, look forward, open. Exhale, take your body back over your legs. Inhale, coming all the way up and lift. Exhale, hands in front of the heart space. Inhale, coming up. Lower the shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Bring both of your hands on the floor. Inhale, look forward, open chest. Exhale, take your feet back and lower down. Inhale, upwards facing. Exhale, downwards facing. Now we're going to lift the right leg up in the air. Lift and take it all the way over. Use your core. And from there, we're going to slowly take that right foot all the way up to the front. And you're going to place your left heel down. Slowly come up. So, take both of your hands on your hips, turn your left hip forward and your right hip back. Yeah, now close your eyes, 60% of your weight in the back foot, 40% of your weight in the front foot. So close your eyes and feel that happening. Engage your left inner thigh, super strong. God. Roll the lower back down, belly strong. Inhale, lift both of your arms up and back. As you lift the arms up, you inhale. As you take them back, exhale. Three more, inhale. Exhale, stay connected to your inner left thigh. And you 
interlace the fingers at the back. Inhale, open up your chest. Feel the shoulder blades pulling towards each other. And then exhale, slowly come to the inside of your right thigh. Keep pulling the right hip backwards. So you feel the whole right buttocks activated. Keep your big breath. And then from there slowly push, push, push left foot in the floor as you lift up your upper body. Inhale. And exhale, slowly take that down, bring both of your hands to the front, take your right leg back, and slowly lower down, inhale, come to your upwards facing, and exhale, downwards facing dog. Three full breaths. Lift up your left leg high, open up that hip, feel the inside of your left groin nicely stretching. And then you place your left foot all the way forward, right heel into the floor. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale, place both of your hands on your hips. Awareness in your hips, right hip forward, left hip back. Inner right thigh, super strong. That's where your attention is. Five times, lift up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. coming up take both of your hands to the back interlace the fingers be with your inner right thigh inhale open and then exhale fold your body on the inside of the left thigh five big breaths coming all the way up, lift up, take your elbows back, let pull, and bring both of your hands to the front, left foot back, slowly lower down, inhale, come to your upwards facing, downwards facing dog, three breaths, to our cat stretch, place your knees on the floor, inhale hollow, exhale rounding, inhale, exhale, and one more, exhale. Then take your feet together, knees open, bring your buttocks to your heels, arms forward, child pose. Five big breaths in child pose. Take a big deep inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, 
three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. So come up and come on, sit something higher. So we are well prepared now for, we're gonna do two Kriyas today. Again, for balancing out the nervous system. Um, I'm gonna take you a little bit more close to me, so, yeah. So, if you're gonna do this with me, please be on a cushion. And if you're opening your hips, it's easy, it's gonna be easy for you to place one heel in front of the other. If that's not possible for you yet, just come in tailor seat. And after I had both of my knees a couple of times operated and took me a long time to recuperate from that. And so I was like took me six months per, per operation to recover. And that's how I used to do the practice then with something supported so the knees felt relaxed. So important to feel good when you're doing these kriyas, because if you don't feel good in your body, you're never gonna get the, the, the effect that it needs to create. So you need to be super comfortable in your posture, otherwise the energy cannot go up and it cannot go to the brain and you will have not the desired effect. So pick your posture. Even if you sit super high, that's fine, take a chair totally fine take a chair if you feel the most comfortable on a chair but the main thing is keep your spine straight super straight and be on top of your sitting bones so the energy can flow all right so we're gonna do two kriyas so the first one is gonna be we're gonna breathe through the nose which is not common inhale Sorry, breathe through the mouth. Inhale to, into the mouth, exhale to the mouth. It's quite of a, a very powerful breath. So,
Big deep inhale, lift up your arms. Close your pelvic floor muscle, pull the navel to the spine, let the air circulate in the body. And then slowly take the hands on the knees, close your eyes, feel the buzz. Be in the buzz with your attention. Big breath. And take your chin to your chest. Take three circles to the right. And then three circles to the left. you guys the next one very I love this Kriya so what we will do is we're gonna go inhale let the arms drop exhale up two times so and then inhale arms up exhale arms down inhale arms up exhale arms down so two by two yeah so Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you're forced to be present. All right, there we go. So. So remember that your spine is straight, chest is open, and you pull the shoulder blades towards each other. So your belly is strong.
Last two. And bring your hands on your knees. Woo! Close your eyes and simply feel. So feel all the sensations in the shoulders for sure. Widening of the rib cage. The cells are vibrating, new energy, new life. Feel your buzz. Feel how your whole chest is burning from aliveness, burning of vitality. So let's end this practice with our hands on our heart space. With three, not ohms, but hums. Hums and hum. So take the hum on a tone that's, that makes you feel glowy. Not, ah, not somewhere in the air, but you feel you're seated in your hum. So take a big deep inhale. Hum. So if you have the time to just sit in your buzz, just stay sitting, enjoying being. And I wish you a great day, great evening. Namaste.